had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason Hey! Mm. Hi! <laughs> What's up guys? Vina Vixen and Slim Shetty here at Rap Sesh. What's up guys? Uh, this week we are going to be talking about a new film that's out on the market recently. Um, we've only just recently started working with it and using it. It's very, very hype right now. I feel like a lot of people have been asking us online our opinions of it and everything. So we finally took took the dive. 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 Oh, no, I can't dive away. We took the dive and we tried out the... Anosotech. Tech. I believe that's how you say it. Anosotech. 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 That's it right there. Anosotech. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know we have a habit of botching names, so sorry if we don't pronounce it right. It's Anosotech. That's how I say it, okay? How do you say it? <laughs> how do you say it? Anosotech. Okay, Anosotech. We're gonna run with that. Um, so, this is from Anosotech USA. Um, this is a new film company that pretty much boasts the glossiest of the gloss. It's vinyl. pretty glossy. Um, it's yeah. supposed to be the most like paint finish. I would say gloss. it's more glossy than paint. It actually matches the orange pill of the paint that's on the car. Right. Is so what I noticed. One of the main complaints that you get with vinyl is that gloss has an orange peel look to it. It's got that mottling, that weird haze. It doesn't look nice and smooth. Um, now it's super avoidable with colored clear bra, but with vinyl it's a lot harder to get that, that clean, clean look. Um, so the difference with the Nozotech film is the lining, the back, the it's backing a, paper. It's got more of a plastic lining rather than a paper lining. So it's like a PVC backing on this film, um, kind of like what they'll attach to like clear, clear bra. bra. <laughs> um, and what that does is when this material is tightly rolled up in a roll is over time, it causes that mottling effect. From the paper. Plus the texture of the paper. So yeah. to get rid of that, they have this plastic backing. Yep. Um, now the one biggest downside to the plastic backing is that it's very static. Lots of static. Many statics. Okay. It also has a cover film on top. Which is very staticky. <laughs> which does, it prevents marring and the orange peel, it helps with the surface of it and the finish, but it also creates static. There is a there is a special way you should pull this film off. Um, you should be doing it literally over itself, pulling back on itself. So say you pulled a piece of film, you need to be pulling the film on itself, not away from it. Yeah. And that cre that reduces the static. Yeah, so but just it's, layering it right on top yes, of itself. Yes, pull it right on itself, yep. Um, another note, um, normally we pre-cut all of our film for color change beforehand. We like measure the car, add the bleed, and then cut all the panels. Uh, we have a video on that if you want to see how we do that kind of mathing. Um, but we do it all on the table. So while we're cutting all the film in advance on our cutting table, we actually remove that cover film. You have to do it quickly too, because over if you actually don't remove that cover film and you roll them up, it can actually separate the uh, film, from the, the film backing, from the backing, which will cause lines which in Which causes film. weird lines in the film. And that's, so, a, yeah, and, and they won't go away. So cover films are really beneficial to um, helping with the finish and everything. However, you can do it wrong yeah. and you can mess up the film even more if you're not handling that cover film right. So make sure you, you read into that. We're not gonna give you technical data on here or any kind no. of information like that. You can get on their website um, and get the proper information you need. This is just our genuine review on the product plus our tips and tricks, pros and cons, things like that. Um, so another thing with this film is you wanna make sure you always roll your film up with the color out like this. Um, and you should be able to fit your your hand inside that. Roll. I always do a fist. Yeah. Um, if you roll it the other way with the backing out, it actually it can separate. It will separate. The same problem he was talking yep. about. So as far as prep is concerned, roll it with the color out and remove your cover film. And keep it loose. And keep it loose. Yeah. Yes. Um, another thing I noticed with this film, I don't know if it's the film itself or if it's the backing paper, but if you crinkle the backing or the film. Um, whether it's off the paper or on, it 
can cause uh, surface imperfections. It can cause some, some marks in there. Most of them come out with heat. If it's not on the surface already, yeah. you can heat it and most of it will go away. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, and all these films are gloss. Oh yeah, it's all gloss. All gloss. They don't have any matte satins. So they have like super gloss, which is like their flat colors, and then they have super metallics. Really, really pretty colors on there. They do. And then they have a couple pearls. They don't have a ton favorite. of colors, but from what they have, they have really good colors. Well, I think they I went really from like, like their five stuff. colors to like. Three. Oh yeah, no, they're jump. They, they're super fast, but. So tips and tricks for installing the Anazatec uh, vinyl film. Uh, make sure you have that cover film off. It's just easier to work with overall. Yeah, it's pretty stiff cover film. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, we found that this film worked best having a team of two. So you want to have two yes. people, two sets of hands to pull the vinyl. It is. It's just a two-person film. I feel it's like it's way easier. Yeah, it makes it. It makes the job easier. You don't get as many adhesive lines, which you can get with this film. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just a better way to do it for sure. Yeah. So when you're gonna pull a panel, we still recommend trying to glass out a panel. That's where you're pulling tension on all the sides to try to make the panel flat and smooth already, and then it's just touching the film down. Yeah. So um, this one's a little harder to do that with. It is flat, a little yeah. harder to do that with because it because it does tack so much, but it but you can push those bubbles out. Yeah, it, it does or you push can it, pop or you can just pop it need. back up if you need to yeah. really easily. So it's definitely easiest if you just try to um, full pull or pull in large sections from like body line to body line, and just um, have one person keeping tension and keeping the vinyl off the surface of the panel, and then the other person squeegeeing, and then you can just have one person go through and trim. That's what yeah. we found the most useful. If you're not trying to fight it the whole. Time. Yeah, because you're you're really gonna spend a lot of time fighting it if you're doing it solo. Especially a roof or oh, something. Any it. of the top <laughs> panels are gonna be a lot harder. Like the hood, for example, we pulled it in three sections. Yeah. Maybe four. Did we? Yeah. yeah. We split it down the middle and we laid the middle first and then the sides. Yeah. So three sections. Um, for example, I did the rear doors in a walk down method. So that's where I had the film rolled up in my hand and I slowly removed the backing paper while I was squeegeeing. That way the film does not touch the car as you're moving So the film doesn't dark. touch the car. That's usually a better method for a high tack film. Mm -hmm. So it definitely has like a plastic feel when you're installing it. Um, and when I did that roll down method, I was able to do it successfully on the rear doors, but the film definitely wanted to go into a wrinkle. It kept wanting to like a uh, bottle cap almost, like where it goes into a triangle. It doesn't conform well unless it's warm. Unless it's warm, yeah. So I did the slow like walk down method with very little heat and I found myself fighting, trying to avoid wrinkles the whole time. Um, it was I... a lot harder to install as opposed to the front doors. We actually did a full pull method. So we pulled the whole backing paper off and then we tarped it and then we installed to each body line as we went. And that was a lot easier. Thought you liked that better? The full pull? The full pull? Yeah, yeah, doing the roll down was hard. I mean, if you're doing something flat, it would be easy, but. It's, it's, it's definitely because it's such a rigid film, maybe, I think. Yeah. It's because you can't conform it unless you're sitting there he heating the whole time. Yeah, which brings us to our mm. next point. Um, the film, you definitely need quite a bit more heat to activate it. Yeah, it takes a lot of heat to make this stuff um, conform, but it but it does conform well. Yeah, I mean, it's like a super low tack, so you could lay a whole hood, and if you just like tug on it and you haven't used any heat, it, the whole thing will pop up. Oh, yeah. Out. So it's very, very it's low weird. tack in that sense, but it's also very Sticky. The initial tack is tacky, but if you need to pop it up, it, 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 it up. does pop up easily. Yeah. So if you're having a hard time and you're starting to get wrinkles or the film's not sticking or it's not conforming the way you want it, just heat. Yeah. And you can you can visually see when the heat reacts to that film and it gets Very to that right temperature so. where it wants to move. It changes a lot. You can visually see that. Yeah. Um, with this film, heat's your best friend. You need to use it to conform to surfaces. 
If you're going to uh, post heat, you need to use a lot more heat than usual, I feel like, and post heating is always super important around oh, yeah. your edges, around your seams, around any deep stretches. You really need to bake that down. Lots of post heesion. Plus, yeah. if you heat the surface, you're going to see if you missed any spots, those bubbles are going to come up, the air bubbles, and it they're going to be more visible. It also gets rid of the surface scratches that you put in with your squeegee. Indeed, it does. Sometimes we actually will even use our steamer. We have a pressure on demand. Steamer works really well. Steamer that will go through and steam the whole surface of the wrap and that really cleans up surface imperfections and scratches. I would say that's the safer way to do it for sure. Um, a flame is quicker, but the safer way is a only steamer. Only if you're comfortable. But only if you're comfortable. Because you have to you have to get that flame on there it. to get those scratches out. Yeah. So Another really great way to avoid scratches, um, obviously you could install with the cover film on, but... Not very much. You can't do a lot of conformable no. things with that Only cover film. It really surfaces. doesn't bend the way you want it to. It's not like the 3M cover film, it's super thick. Yeah. Um, so what we actually like to use is a lubricant and it is uh, Superior Image Car Care Show Shine. The or, pink spray. Or Body Shine, the pink spray. You can get it from any kind of company and it's usually a silicone based detail spray. Just gives you something to glide on. Yeah. So sometimes like when we're installing, if we want to avoid those scratches, especially on gloss, we'll spray the vinyl, the top of it, um, with that pink spray and like spray our squeegee and it just creates a nice buffer. Use that pink spray as a liquid lubricant on top of your vinyl. Just make sure that you're not cleaning the car with that pink spray because the vinyl's not going to stick to the No. Silicone. Afterwards. After. <laughs> That's an aftercare. While after you're care. installing. <laughs> So that's pretty much all the best tips and tricks that we have uh, that we found in doing this Mercedes wrap. Um, yeah. I want to just kind of summarize like the pros and cons of this film, what we really liked about it and some issues that we had with it just to be totally upfront with you. What did you like about it? What did I like about it? It does look very glossy and very much like paint. Yes. Like it is considerably glossier than a normal. Than most. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Most vinyls. The colors it's are really nice. Yeah, um, colors are nice. I do really like their colors. It had good memory. Like if you stretched, you'll see there's, we did a stretch test. It does, yeah. If you heat and stretch that film like super crazy and then you heat it again, the film would completely bounce back. With really no, not very, not, yeah, not too much discoloration or markings. Yeah, so. not really any surface imperfection. So it does have a good memory. It does work really well with heat. Yep. I would say it's, it is a pretty low tack film. So in that sense, it is very repositionable if you need to move it. It's weird. It's a high low tack film. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a high low. It's a hybrid. It's really, it's, it's kind of different, but um, all together, it's kind of a different film. It's It's got a very plasticky, plasticky feel. It doesn't feel like any other film that I've installed as far as like how it literally feels yeah. and how it lays. It, it feels it's like It's definitely plastic. plasticky until you heat it up and then it gives you that rubbery, yeah. like so loose feel. So your friend. Um, I thought it held really well, like by the time we post heated and everything, we it didn't does have hold any well. issues, so it does stretch and hold well, it conforms well. Yep. Um, some of the downfalls to the film that I saw was um, the static, because you have the cover film and that plastic backing. That can create, you know, a mess. You can get can hairs. suck hairs or whatever is on the floor up in Static is always kind of an issue you're dealing with, so you want to work in a really clean area. Yeah. Um, what would you compare it to? It's kind of like almost KPMF. I would say between KPMF and Oracal. And Oracal and kind of like Cheetah Wrap at the same time. Like well, I said, it's like It has that low Cheetah Wrap low like pullback, but then it has that high initial tack like Oracal. Yeah. It's really weird. Um, <laughs> another downside was it, you can still get glue lines. You can. No matter how good you're installing it, laying from body line to body line, hitting the If your you're recesses, working the film, you're, you you can possibly get glue you, lines. You can get glue lines. So temperature is really important with this film. I feel Definitely. like if you're if you're installing too cold or too warm, you're gonna get those lines. Or you're not stretching it properly, or you're heating it if multiple times. You can still get glue lines, just like any other film. Um, I feel like the uh, if you do get them though, I was able to get some of them out by lifting and heating and getting them back down. If you lift them up again, yeah, they and have heat to be them, off the surface. You have to do it right. Yeah. yeah. Surface imperfections, like I said, if you crinkle that film up and really like whether it's on if the paper you, uh, or off, it does tend to leave imperfection marks in the film. It can, just because it has that high gloss surface and I feel like that gives it that rigidity that we're talking about and that can kind of crease 
yeah. So you gotta be careful for that. So really great colors, really great finish, but overall I would rate this as a film that is not for beginners. No. Um, if, <laughs> if you're like, if you're that type of install or shop that only uses like Avery and 3M, you probably haven't really been outside the box with Oracal, KPMF, the Hexis, More you know, the Cheetah Wrap, films. those films that are harder <laughs> to install. It does have a very good quality. It's held really well so far over the past few weeks. Um, and it looks really good, but it was definitely more difficult to install than what I'm used to. It, so, was, just, it was just kind of different be than what we're used to, and I feel like it's just something that you have to get in. It's, it's not so much more difficult than any other film, it's just a lot. It's not for a beginner. I would not give no, that to a beginner. That's it's not, the point that I'm yeah, making at. It's definitely just, uh, it's just different, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, not for the beginners, um, but a really great film overall if you have a tag team partner. You need to tandem wrap with this stuff. Um, if you guys are interested in getting your hands on the Anaza Tech, you can visit anazatechusa.com. That's I-N-O-Z-E-T-E-K, USA. I hope, I might have botched that. <laughs> um, really great film, really awesome quality. Uh, make sure you guys check out the rest of our channel. We will have a video dedicated to the car we wrapped, which is a Mercedes C63 AMG. And we also have a really, really cool upcoming full coverage pro project with Anazatech as well. Yeah. Um, we love you to the moon and back. Make sure you keep up with our daily fun on Facebook and Instagram at Vinyl Vixen Wraps and Rap Sesh AZ. And please, please, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe mm -hmm. to dig the Rap mm -hmm. Sesh vibe. Oh. We'll see you next week. Later. Ew. Don't. No.